Kampala, the heartbeat of the region and Uganda's biggest economic and investment hub. A center bustling with development, where vast infrastructure improvements are sprouting from every corner of the city. It's a capital in a constant state of regeneration, where an entire new road network is rising, getting more connected and modern traffic junctions being modeled. It's a place where economic stability and forward-thinking leadership combine. The vision for Kampala Capital City transformation was set out a long time ago at the time that we started the transformation journey for the city. This vision is to make Kampala attractive, vibrant and sustainable in all the different ways. So for the last couple of years we've been working on crystallizing this vision for Kampala and step by step, day by day, the city is transforming, the city is improving, services are improving, and the city is slowly becoming the city that we can all be proud of. We have been addressing the problem of infrastructure in terms of widening the roads, widening the junctions, putting in place traffic lights, um, sensitizing the public about road usage, and all these things that help us to make our roads better. We've been upgrading, we've been rebuilding, we've been lighting, we've been building pavements, generally improving the mobility of the people that use Kampala City. So that whether you're a pedestrian, whether you're a motorist, whether you are a visitor, whether you're a transporter, we want to make Kampala more sustainable in terms of motorability. came into Kampala Capital City Authority when almost all roads were dilapidated. We had only about 20% in good condition. But this situation is steadily improving and we are very hopeful that in the next three to five years, most of the roads will be in good condition. Now, this of course is going to help city residents move around quickly. They will spend more productive time at their workplaces instead of spending excessively much more time in traffic jams which is affecting the economy, which is also affecting investments in the city. We have the Greater Kampala Physical Development Plan that was approved by the government of Uganda a couple of years ago. The purpose and the intention of this plan is to expand Kampala city infrastructure, services, and spread it over the Greater Kampala area. The city administration, with its ambitious vision for Kampala, is laying a solid foundation for the future generations. These satellite centers will be places where you can get goods and services, hospitals, schools, banks, um, academies, everything that brings you into the capital city. You'll be able to get it from these places and therefore reduce the need for people to come into the capital city. That is part of the Camp Greater Kampala Physical Development Plan that is currently being worked on. As funds begin to be available, we shall be implementing this plan and it's going to make Kampala more efficient in a lot of different ways. Kampala is a city that dreams big which has helped the transformation journey take off since 2011. New roads and junctions have transport at the forefront of infrastructure investment that now see Kampala transforming itself into a well-connected modern city. More than just a trade hub, 
It's a place where communities are becoming equipped with life skills in urban farming technologies, livestock and so much more. Helping its people to realize and harness their potential for purposeful and sustainable development. Since 2011, Kampala Capital City Authority has been at the helm of this urban transformation, working to raise the economic status of the city, starting with upgrading the road network to improve mobility and effectively move goods and services. It's exciting what we've been able to achieve in the last few years that this centre has been in place. Uh, we have received 7,500 visitors coming in on Wednesday mornings and Saturday mornings. They come for farm tours, and they take home lessons learned and then they come back later to actually um, request for assistance in their home units to set up the same that they've seen here. Vaso can never to eat and it funa meetings every paparish. Kati wetwa funa meetings paparish, never to woolida, barbina projects in Indi and Coco, a woman of popcorn, the quagam, the wind to wind, the sober of Quakora, and a kuvam of One of the production systems that we are promoting is micro-gardening. Micro-gardening, uh, in this sense, involves a sack and we are actually growing vegetables from the sides through holes and also on top of the garden. In this demonstration here, we have spinach, we've got tomatoes, uh, we've got uh, sukuma wiki and then we also got kale, the Russian red type. We are saying to the farmers that even if you have just a corner of your garden or about two square meters, you can have two bags of these. And can you believe it? You can actually support about 20 plants on each of these sacks. And for a family of about four, this would mean that you don't have to go to the market to buy vegetables whenever they're in production. You would have enough vegetable for your table. And you might want to grow more even for your neighbors to sell. With numerous empowerment programs like Climate Smart Agriculture, Kampala Capital City Authority is now making it possible for communities to access urban farming skills and technical support to sustainably increase their agricultural productivity and strengthen their livelihoods. KCCA sought to set up this uh, facility to support its programs in urban farming. We take urban farming as one of the engines to improve the household incomes in Kampala. But there was a gap when we started doing the work in Kampala. We discovered that there was no centre where farmers would learn how to farm in the city. There was no demonstration sites for them to copy when they go back to their homes. And also very importantly, seed. Farmers had a problem on getting seed that could germinate and also seed in form of livestock. And then the green is very expensive. Katatene nyingi za yoru wa rero ebera ntono. Katibu wabu vjeri mide wano. Orira dara chinji. Nabana nevarigia. Kwe gamba ni mnyirira. Kwe gambe bintu vya kesi si project ya ture tera. Nungi nori ya no kuta. Atenga wechiri. Techigenda kugwa oncha nga wechiri. No kutunda no tunda o. That is not the end. We have future plans for this center. We still have uh, more than uh, 20 acres on which we want to do other developments. We're looking at having a fish breeding unit here. We want to have fish tanks in which we breed uh, catfish and also uh, tilapia fish. We're also looking at having vermiculture. We want to use worms to produce fertilizers for nutrient recycling within the city. We're looking at producing organic fertilizers in Chanja and we're in talks with some um, manufacturers of equipment that convert the market waste into organic fertilizers so that all the farming units in the city can have nutrients uh, uh, top up each time they need to do that. We are looking at having um, warehousing. We have set aside five acres for that and basically we want a multi-purpose warehouse because we know that the farmers who have actually gone to reproduce what we're doing here are going to have products that they want to sell. So that warehouse will actually be bulky. We want to buy back from the farmers, we shall bulk and then be able to get one big market for their produce. Those could be supermarkets within the city and also those could be export markets. So the future is bright for this centre. Over the last few years, Kampala has become a model for urban transformation, not just in East Africa, but also for the rest of the world. So we have people coming, institutions coming from all over the world to come and understand how we have made the progress that we've made in just a few years. 
and with all the limitations and with all the challenges that we face as a capital, growing capital city. So we are sharing experiences, we are sharing solutions and we are gaining solutions from everywhere else. So we support the partnerships that are mutually beneficial for the transformation not just of Kampala but for the other urban areas in Uganda and the rest of the world that we share with in so many ways. With tremendous potential, Kampala is steadily evolving into a vibrant, attractive and sustainable city. Each new day presenting numerous opportunities for investors, visitors and its inhabitants. KCCA at work to inspire and give hope to the future generations that will inherit what we have done and that will build on what we have done. We are giving it our all but we cannot do it without you. It will take you and us to make Kampala the city that you want it to be. We believe that the city will be transformed, Kampala will be better every day and it will become the city that we're all proud of. Kampala is finally making the most of its potential as a national and regional trade hub. This means everybody has a part to play in strengthening the economic pulse of the city folk. The future is now.